Hey guys, um, more uh, censorship is taking place now. Uh, it always seems to be on Enter the Stars, uh, his channel. Whenever I leave a comment, it uh, poof vanishes. And he just put out a video basically condemning cannabis. And I left a comment uh, which would pretty quickly change his mind on the subject but that comment is not showing up unless I'm logged in so I'm going to do this hopefully short presentation on um, truth in the Bible and where it can be found um, I want you to notice here that in all the other versions except for the King James which has also been corrupted but for the sake of the argument the word meat has been changed to food, 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 meat. So that should tell you that huh, there is corruption in your Bible. There is corruption in the King James Bible. There, there is no two matching translations. Um, but if you read, uh, and I'm going to tell you right now that this is about cannabis and the truth about cannabis, because he, uh, Enter the Stars, just came out with the video condemning people who use cannabis. And I'm here to tell you, buddy, that's not how it's supposed to be, man. And if you read, if you read the Bible that you claim to be all about, and you will see that plain black and white, it's telling you that in uh, later days the law will tell you to stay away from cannabis the only herb that is uh, pretty much been taken away from us and we're slowly getting it back but the point I'm trying to make is is that the Bible specifically says that cannabis will become illegal and it even says that you're to ignore that and you're supposed to be telling your brothers and sisters to ignore that and instead you're doing the opposite and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Now if you go into the uh, New Testament, 1 Timothy 4, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's basically saying in later times, some will depart from the truth, giving heed to seducing spirits, lying politicians, and doctrines of devils, the law, speaking lies and hypocrisy. Every one of them has admitted to using cannabis, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, meaning they have been propagandized to infinity. Uh, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of all of them which believe and know the truth. Know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. It goes on to say, But refuse profane old wise fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. The Bible is telling you to your face that cannabis will become illegal. There is no other meat that they are telling you to stay away from. This is the only one. It even goes on to say, These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth. Who do they try to reach first? Dare. They try to lump everything in with cannabis. They try to lump in ecstasy with cannabis. They try to lump in heroin with cannabis. They try to lump in cocaine with cannabis, pills, everything. And I'm not even totally against uh, cocaine or heroin if it's used properly. 
not abused. It even goes on to say, neglect not the gift that is in thee. It even says, Medi meditate upon these things. Meditate upon these things. Do you know what this channel stands for? For all wanting knowledge using the universal biological energy is precisely what I'm talking about. Using meditation and cannabis to receive information. Um, so yeah, I can't uh, can't condone when somebody does something like this. They they are steering the crowd the wrong way. Let no man despise thy youth. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm talking about with uh, the censorship. They're getting pretty smart because it even shows that I have two uh, thumbs up. So in my mind, this is a visible comment. However, when I log out, hit the backspace and go back to this uh, video. Here's the comment. Where am I at? Gone. So they're getting clever. They're making me think that people are thumbing it up. And uh, it's not even there. So that's why I'm doing the video. It seems like the only way that I can communicate with Enter the Stars is by making a video. <laughs> uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, Google. YouTube. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I did sign back in. For those of you who are interested in what my comment did say, because it did come off as a bit of a pain in the booty, uh, eventually I went down and uh, pointed these things out. Another confirmation uh, of truth in the Bible, I figure why not just keep going along with it. Uh, three score, the word three score translates to 60. So, if there's any confusion with that. Here is wisdom. Let he who hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six, which translates to six, six, six. And the verse right before that says, And no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark. Buy and sell. This is the most important part. As I stated before, this could be either prophecy or man trying to create prophecy. And look at anything in one way, but again, uh, the representation for the number six is two thin bars, and you'll see that on every barcode um, in three different areas the beginning, the middle, and the end. And over here we have the hexagram, which is. Uh, 666. Of course, there's the cube. Um, and I've already done this before, but I'm just showing you why I say there's truth in the Bible. So, this would be the second confirmation for me of there being truth in the Bible. I'm not saying that the whole thing is true, I'm just saying that there is truth in the Bible. And and very clearly you can see a six-sided polygon, six triangles, and there is six points. So it's a uh, it's one of those things where you have to count. Count the name or count the number of the name. And it tells you to count. It even says that in scripture. Count. That's what we're doing here. We're counting. And for me, uh, the third confirmation uh, it just, ha just so happens to come from a video which does translate the scriptures properly using a uh, Strong's Concordance um, to show you the Hebrew meaning for the uh, words that have been translated into English incorrectly. Um, and this is uh, more or less for the a atheists who are listening. And you know what? Let's get one thing straight. I don't care what you believe. Um, but it seems to me that uh, the atheist community has completely turned blinders to anything that has to do with ancient text. They do not want anything to do with it. I am challenging you today 
to uh, just watch this video. That's all I want you to do. It's a it's a pretty long video, half an hour, but I'm pretty sure that uh, most of you will watch a television show for longer than that. So if you can give me or give uh, this video half an hour of your time, um, you will start to see why I say there's truth in the Bible. And it, I mean, you can't you can't deny it after you watch this video. It's impossible because this man has described in perfect detail the nuclear detonation the mechanism the shape the size how it gets from destination point a to point b the entire thing from start to finish the contents of the destructive nuclear bombs and how they detonate it's impossible for anybody to say this stuff 2500 years ago unless our technology is truly hand-me-down technology which I do believe but um, the point is is that this guy has uh, pretty much described and, and you cannot describe it any better it's impossible for somebody to know what's going to happen before it happens and I thoroughly believe that this is right around the corner um, because of other things that have been going on lately the missing nuclear weapons Obama said himself that uh, his biggest fear is a attack, a nuclear attack on New York. He's openly admitted that. Let me go find the document. Obama fears a new New York City nuclear attack, but he again proposes to cut budget for city's protection. Um, and that's daily news. But we can also get that from uh, these mainstream all-seeing eye folks here. Homeland Security to cut New York uh, Police Department bomb detection funding after Obama says New York City nuclear blast bigger concern than Russia. So, yeah. And I say that there is truth in the Bible, but I don't believe that the Bible contains a complete story. I don't believe it has everything that we need to know. Um, in my opinion, to sit here and say that you've been handed a pamphlet at birth and you have all the answers... Um, no, I'm sorry, it's not that easy. Uh, if it was that easy, then we'd all be all right, wouldn't we? But that's uh, that's not the case. I, d I thoroughly do not believe that you can be handed a pamphlet at birth and have all the answers. That's why I continue to look at other religious texts, and I continue to uh, uh, cross-reference between the religious text, and I want to find the ultimate answer here the ultimate truth and um, I don't condemn anybody for looking in other places I condemn people for only looking in one place um, whether it be your science book whether it be just the Bible whether it be just the Quran whether it be uh, just prophecies from uh, various folk um, I condemn that because to me that's tunnel vision because everybody goes around and says uh, my book's right my book's right but the truth is is you were born with that book in your lap and that's all you know to me it'd be better to know every possible angle before you make a decision because that's the only way you can make an informed decision you can't make an informed decision by saying all religious text is a joke here's my science book and you can't make an informed decision by saying uh, I was born with the Bible sitting in my lap. I have all the answers. I'm sorry. You need to cross-reference. You need to figure it out. Otherwise, don't. Don't do anything. Uh, you, to me, somebody who was born with the Bible in their lap and says that that's the only book of truth is the same, uh, is, is no different than a scientist, in my opinion. Because they have this this mindset where it's a team that you're rooting for and, and you have to root for your team. I'm not rooting for any teams. I find truth, I point it out. If I find deception, I'll point it out too. Um, and there is plenty of deception in the Bible as well as truth. And to point out the truth is the good parts. And to point out the deception is just something that we have to do. Um, we can't just sit here and blindly follow any one thing. You have to do the research, and for most atheists, they're not even willing to turn a page. So, I'm not condemning anybody. I'm just saying, you got to look, or you're not going to know. Thanks for listening.